So far, we've created a very basic ghost theme. It allows us to navigate throughout the system. It allows us to select a different post and view information about that post. I want to start making things a little different. And we'll start off by adding Bulma. This is a CSS framework that gives us access to a lot of powerful features. So how do we do that? Well, what I want to do is create something known as a default dot handlebars. So let's make a default dot HBS inside of our theme folder. This allows us to make a standard HTML document. You may have noticed just then I typed HTML colon five inside of Visual Studio Code. This then uses Emmet to expand this and gives us a boilerplate HTML page. If you're doing this manually, then I would suggest that you at least have this viewport meta tag as this makes things much easier to scale on smaller devices. For the title, we can bind to the current title of the page. Whereas in static documents, we may have something like Paul Halliday's blog. We can change that to whatever the ghost meta title is by binding to meta underscore title. As we also saw when we created our ghost theme and we activated it, we needed something called ghost head. So let's also add ghost head inside of our interpolation binding here to our header. But when we do this, nothing seems to happen. We still have the same response. Well, that's because we need to add the body of our content into this default file. So it would still be the same no matter what, but I want to serve the content from default rather than index. So the way that we do that is by heading back over to our index.handlebars file. And what we want to do is use the interpolation binding. We want to use an exclamation mark and then a less than sign. And we want to call this default. What this does is it pipes the entire file over to the default file. So everything in here then becomes accessible inside of default. Because you'll notice if we refresh our page at this point in time, because we've used this default.handlebars, everything is now blank. So the way that we actually access this is by now using three squiggly braces saying body. And when we refresh the page, we get everything back. And that's because the entire content of our index.handlebars is now piped to default. And we can access this inside of our page. So why is this worth doing? Well, this allows us to add our ghost head and subsequently in one second, the ghost footer. So let's also add that at the very bottom. Let's add ghost underscore foot. And this makes our theme compatible now with Ghost. When we also come to breaking out our files to different components, for example, later on, we'll have a header component. We'll have a footer component, just as we have a body component. So all of this will be really important as time goes by and we'll start seeing the benefits of this very soon. Next up, let's add Bulma to our project.